Hey everybody, it's John again, and today I'm going to take a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men series cable, and this is part of the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave, which makes me happy that I found uh, the entire series in the stores locally. It's always funner to hunt these things down than it is to have to just purchase them off the eBay or Amazon or so on, but here he is in the standard packaging that they've come in, um, where you can see the figure perfectly in the box and everything that comes with them. Uh, on the side you get some artwork, a cable here. On the back you get a uh, photo of the figure. Uh, the rest of the figure is in line to build, to build a figure, which I said was Juggernaut. <clears throat> and up here it says a lifelong soldier. Cable perfected his fighting prowess when a technological virus suppressed his natural psychic abilities. Uh, so Cable's a cool figure and he's a cool character. Um, I think the earliest I remember reading him was in the um, New Mutants comic books near the end. And he is the son of uh, Cable, or Cable, Cyclops and Jean Grey. And overall he has had a very long storyline from everything from jumping back and forth from the future to battling Apocalypse to possibly even creating Apocalypse. So... Yeah, it's a pretty good read if you can get your hands on most of his stuff. Anyway, give me a second here and I'll get him outside of the package and we'll take a closer look. And here we have Cable outside of his package. Pretty interesting looking figure right here. Um, right off the bat, I kind of I like the way he looks and the amount of detail that's on this guy. He's a little bit wobbly and the where his legs connect to his body. It's not too bad. Uh, the face, though, I really like that face sculpt. The, the shine there in the metallic parts of his face definitely has a little bit of the Terminator look to him. The damage and scars here. He does have a, a little growth there on the side of his head. Probably just a plastic defect. But the line work in his face... I and mean, everything's just really cool in all the metallic parts of him, especially even in his arm here. It makes me really excited for seeing a Colossus. If they can pull this off with just a normal plastic arm, Colossus ought to look pretty cool when we finally get our hands on him. I mean, his vest has some really nice work in it. It's got two different colored paints on it. You can see his undershirt here. Got this nice detailing on his belt. It goes all the way around. Multiple pouches for holding various things. All of them are very nicely detailed. He's got this little uh, secondary belt loop here that hangs off. It's nice and soft so it does move. It's more pa uh, pouches on his legs, both sides. He's got these knee pads. One is blue. Did they miss? Am I missing paint on this one? That's a little odd. Uh, one of his knees is painted and the other one is not. Is that supposed to be? I don't know. That's really weird to me. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Uh, it looks like they just forgot to paint this one. Or this one wasn't supposed to be painted. Not really sure. These cool little knee pads. So, he's got a good amount of head rotation. Goes all the way around. Uh, goes up. Pretty good. Doesn't go down at all. Does have an ab crunch, which works nicely. And he does have ball jointed shoulders that go up and down. And they can go all the way around. He's got a bicep swivel that's good. Really nice double jointed elbows, which work pretty good. And the other second joint here is pretty tight, but it does work. So it gives you lots of movement. And his wrist does have a swivel. And it's hinged is very good and he well, he's got also a full full swivel at his torso because he does not have one at his waist oh yeah he does he still rotates at the waist too so he's very poseable and his legs only go out this far so not a whole lot they do go forward a nice amount and back only a little bit got nice double jointed knees 
and he does have uh, hinged feet, and they are on rockers, which is nice. Ooh. See if we can get him standing back up here. Does have this cool little tattoo on his hand. And his gloves are nice on his normal hand. Yeah, he's a pretty good figure. Now he comes with these weapons, which I may have to repaint because they're just a solid kind of marbly green paint. This kind of looks like his energy, one of his energy weapons here. It should fit into his hand rather easily, I'm hoping. Maybe. Come on, get in there. There we go. Maybe. He doesn't want to grip the handle very well in this hand, but there it is. And his finger is on the trigger. And he does come also with this one. Which is another odd looking kind of... Sci-fi-ish gun. Ooh, so maybe like an assault rifle. It also comes with this little stash of bullets that you can put in here. That they look go in there. It looks like they're just kind of hanging, which is weird. It doesn't look like he's got a whole lot of shots. But that also should fit in his hand just fine here. Maybe again. Get in there. And he's armed. It's a little warped, but not too terrible. And comes with one other piece that's uh, kind of important. Comes with here uh, the Juggernaut's uh, Jugger butt, I guess we can call it. <laughs> it's weird though, it feels stand up cable. Work with me here, guy. Thanks. Feels like very hollow plastic. Uh, right now, this piece by itself isn't that impressive. Of course, it is just the jugger butt. <clears throat> now, the cable is a little bit taller. So I have our Morbius here, who is pretty much your average size figure for the Marvel Legends and he stands pretty much taller than Morbius and then our Build-A-Figure Absorbing Man let's bring him in here as you can see he's slightly taller than Cable still and if they're nose to nose Amazon or Absorbing Man is quite taller which makes me wonder how big Juggernaut will be since his uh, waist is considerably bigger than the Absorbing Man so hopefully he's pretty big now let's bring Cable back here front and center so you should be able to find these in the store still um, there's a lot of them on the pegs and my local Walmarts, Myers and Targets. Um, we're starting, or we did get some of the Doctor Strange figures in and some of the new Spider-Man wave came in and those sold out really fast. I'm still trying to get my hands on the Electro because I really want that figure, but I was happy to be able to get these. So we are starting to get more Marvel Legends here, which I was complaining about not that long ago that we haven't had any of the new ones in a long time. And they finally showed up, so I'm happy, and I should be able to complete Juggernaut pretty soon. As always, uh, like this if you enjoy the video at all. Hit that thumbs up if you don't. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do you, are your knees painted the same colors, or is it supposed to be that way? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be that way. On the box here, both of his knees, both of his knees are the same color. Well, that's a bummer. I'm not going to complain about it too much, though, I guess.
Anyway, uh, subscribe for some more videos and check out my YouTube channel because I've got a whole bunch of them up now. And uh, thanks for watching.